What's up guys? Oh man, we're developing the corner of Fowler and Huffine and my offices are now over off of my city brew in front of Kohl's. And every time that I go past work, I drive past this development and I'm reminded of a hobo named Emmett. Dude, it was so cool. Oh my goodness, about a year ago, had an awesome experience. I was coming home after meeting with a friend on a Friday for coffee at City Brew out on Huffine. Uh, sorry about the sunlight, man, it is bright. A little harsh, but it's what we got to deal with. So I was coming home after having met with a friend for coffee out at Cold Smoke on Huffine. And Emmett, which is not his real name, he said if I ever shared his story, couldn't share his real name. But he's walking along the street, right out here on Huffine. The snow was super deep, and he's stumbling out into the street, rush hour traffic. So I stopped up, pulled over, threw him in my car, and he was trying to get down to the rest area down on the end of 19th. So, got a bit of an education. He said, being a hobo is a little bit different than being a bum. He said, a bum is somebody who sits around, just panhandles, leeches off the land. Hobo is somebody who lives in harmony with the land, and if people do nice things for him, he said, I gotta do something nice for you. So, bought me a sandwich, we sat around and talked for a while, and as we talked, he pulled off a little bit of his sandwich, put it in his pocket, and I was like, well, what was, what's that for? And he said, well, I, he's like, I just have a strong sense of responsibility that even though I don't have a lot, he's like, I gotta be taking care of somebody or something. So he said, I have a little pet mouse back at my camp on the corner of Fowler and Huffbine, he said, gotta be taking care of something, man. It's just, it's in us as humans. You just gotta, gotta serve something, you gotta nurture something. So he said, I don't have a lot. He said, I can take care of my little mouse. We've been together for years. Ah, oh, that was so cool. So I had that experience and then later on in that week, uh, I was out doing the snow on my driveway with my snow blower and I looked across the street, saw that my neighbor lady that her her driveway was just all socked in lives in a duplex so they have two car garage on both sides so there's four spaces tons of snow to shovel so it ran across it's no big deal for me just blew the snow off of her driveway come to find out she's a beer vendor so she comes across the street gives me a whole six pack of beer just for blowing the snow off of her driveway i just man i, I thought that was a bit extreme but the two experiences led to another thought in that Bill Gates also lives in our community. He has a place up at Yellowstone Club. And so the, the three of them all ran together. Hobos, beer vendors, and Bill Gates. That each one of them, out of the overflow of something that they had, they were using it to encourage and build up people in their community. Emmett was taking a little portion of his sandwich and using it to serve a little mouse. My neighbor across the street took extra beer that she had and came across the street and gave it to me. Super encouraging, I really appreciated it, but it was something very easy for her. And then, doggone, Bill Gates, man, he has billions and he uses them so well to reach out to other people who in Africa to help solve sicknesses and tackle huge issues in the world with the resources that he has that's very easy and sustainable for him. So those three experiences together leads to an encouragement for the day and the time that we're in is that everybody around you, that you have something for them that's very sustainable for you. It's not over the top. It's not gonna break your emotional or physical budget, but that it's really easy for you to reach out to them, to encourage them, to build them up, to nurture them. And so every time that I come to work now, I drive past the corner of Fowler and Huffine, I see the development going in here, and I can see into this little grove where Emmett's hobo camp was. And hobos, as far as community-wise and resources, they have some of the least resources, but I'm so encouraged by his life because there's just that sense of responsibility in him to reach out and to nurture, even though he doesn't have a lot. 
ah oh, man, I hope that I hope that's coming through to encourage you. It's just in our time where just there's so many things that are are so difficult, so hard, and that it's easy to just hole up and just think about myself and not think about other people instead of really pressing into I have a responsibility to reach out to people and to encourage them. This is this is part of it. I'm just compelled to make these videos to reach out to the entire Bozeman community and say, I know I don't have a lot. I know all I do is I make these videos, but I can reach out to an entire community and say, we got this. We're stronger together. Oh, we're so awesome. I love you guys. Oh, we're gonna thrive. It's okay. Ah, oh, this is what I do. I just, I have to do it. So today, I hope as you go through your week that you can just reach out to somebody around you. If it's just somebody across your office, somebody across your fence, reach out to them, make sure you have a mask on. That's what our governor has asked us to do to help our, our community stay safe. But reach out to somebody and touch their lives with what you have to give encourage him. I hope as you drive past Fowler and Huffine, you see this development, you can think about Emmett, a community member of ours that, man, guy was on point, that he was serving, and that it could be an encouragement to you. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Let it rip, tater chip, and I will see you guys in the next video.